We are now joined by current AMCHIP president, Millie Jones. Millie, it's really great to sit down and talk with you. How are you today? I'm great, Jennifer, thank you. Good, well, you are wrapping up your tenure I here know. as president. Tell me a little bit about your, your term and some of the maybe highs and lows, I guess, okay. or challenges or joys. Okay, uh, I like to think in terms of challenges and opportunities. Um, it's been a fantastic two years. I um, am actually the last of the presidents who will be serving two-year terms. We are transitioning to one-year terms, um, hopefully as a part of recruiting and making it a little more manageable for uh, future leaders to think of a three-year commitment as opposed to a six-year commitment. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you the two years went so quickly. It's hard to imagine even undertaking it in one year. Um, but the way we are constructed with the president-elect uh, coming on board and actually being at the table and then transitioning into that position, it really makes it a seamless position. And uh, it's just been, it's been an honor to be in this position. Um, we came in with a lot of challenges. Such as? Uh, we actually had um, a, a turnover of our then CEO, our chief executive officer. So in my first year, I was actively engaged in stabilizing uh, along with the board, just the um, leadership for the organization. So we brought on a, an interim director who did a fabulous job, but we were extremely fortunate a year ago um, to recruit our current CEO, Lori Freeman. And so Lori has just come in and hit the ground, feet running, so it's been, it's been a good um, uh, experience. That was probably the major um, challenge during those two years was just getting to that point of stabilizing. But now having the new CEO on board, we've spent the last year really looking at internal operations and revising, strengthening, uh, organizing our association. And I think I'm leaving it at a better place. Well, that's so, all anyone can really yeah, ask, right? Exactly. So let's look into the future. What are some of the challenges or opportunities when you're talking about maternal and child mm. care and welfare? Some of the challenges, um, as you know, this is an association mm -hmm. that represents the interest of states, mm -hmm. uh, Title V maternal child health programming. So we're always responding to budget constraints, um, political changes, um, political will within our states and when you serve the needs and territories of MCH you serve the needs of all of the states and all of the territories so finding that common ground that makes uh, for an acceptable agenda for us to move forward on and to do so in a way that it's acceptable and expressing the interest of all of the states is, is really a challenge. Um, but because we're dealing with such a core component of, of the life course, mothers, children, families, um, I think it gives us a really nice theme and population to advocate for. So even though there may be differences in ways um, our states and territories administer their programming, it's all based on a solid foundation of the health and well-being of mothers and children. What do you think some of the biggest takeaways are going to be from this gathering? Um, biggest takeaways, this is an excellent gathering to share, network, uh, learn our new cohorts and colleagues that have come on at the state level throughout the past year. Uh, so leaving here with a new group of contacts and, and individuals is always um, a benefit. But we also cover emerging um, issues, best practices, standards of care. We've spent the last year plus transitioning uh, Title V Maternal Child Health Block Grant. So that's going to be a huge takeaway from this conference. What does it mean? What will our new guidance look like? How will we implement that guidance at the state and territories? Um, how do we then capture the performance around the work that we're doing? And that is a major driver 
uh, for information sharing over the next couple of days. Well, and that is huge. It's all about sharing the information. Absolutely. But is there one thing that you really just love about gathering all these people together? I'd have to say the networking. Uh, for some of us, it's the only time that we see one another. Um, we may correspond in writing or with uh, conference calls, but to actually have a chance to sit down, reconnect, um, and just just gain from one another the the energy and the passion and the experience that they are one another's implementing back home is just such a takeaway. So, All right. so networking is critical. Well, Millie Jones, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. You've obviously enjoyed your tenure as president, I can see.